Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jeremy AK Uzaru Jirambe back again with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. On the global side today, we're going to be taking a look at the 6th Anniversary Part 3 Extreme Z Battle and Extreme Z Awakening for LR Freeku. A great unit that's getting some awesome buffs with this Extreme Z Awakening. We're going to be taking a look at those post Extreme Z Awakening stats. I'll be taking on stage 10 of the events and you can see which team and units I'll be bringing in. And we'll also be talking about the effective category, which is Universe Survival Saga. So hopefully you can get some information to help out if you haven't quite beat all 10 stages of the event yet. So we'll get into all information here in a minute, but first, go ahead and check out those links in the description below for my social media pages to support me over there. And also check out the link for the Discord chat, where we have an awesome community of people playing Dokkan Battle and Dragon Ball Legends. Always a fun place to hang out and chat with everyone and get any in-game help you may need. So I look forward to seeing you over there. If you're new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date on future content like this and to support the channel. Drop a like on the video and comment down below if you have any questions or comments or if you need additional help taking on the event. So let's go ahead and hop over to the Dokkan Wiki just real quick to take a look at the event here. So uh, of course uh, this is a, an LR EZA. So with that any legendary power unit you have which is a link skill. So if you have LRs definitely bring them in because that, that is the link skill that LR units have. So they get an act, extra attack buff when you take those in so they'll do extra damage to the unit and then also universe survival saga category units take less damage so any lrs from universe survival saga will do extra damage and take less damage and therefore are going to be really helpful because these lr ezas can really do some damage when you get to the higher stages so um, of course stages one through ten is where you are going to get all of your eza medals and your kais and then stages 11 onward, you get some Hercule statues. But uh, you still get, for beating all 10 uh, stages, you still get 30 Dragon Stones. You get 5 Kai's and 45 Awakening Medals, as well as some Hidden Potential Orbs. And then there's also a mission reward for 3 extra Dragon Stones to just clear stage 7. So basically you get that along the way. Anyway. So you get 33 Dragon Stones altogether, so not too bad there. Um, but let's go ahead and actually look at the Universe Survival Saga category units. And you can see... All of the LRs, there's actually a good chunk of LRs that you can bring in if you have any of them. Uh, of course, if you have LR Int uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta or the new LR Int Team Universe 7, those guys also have category, uh, or should I say type advantage as well as category advantage and their LRs, so definitely bring them in if you have them. Um, but uh, there's some other units, of course, you can bring in as well. If you don't have a team that you can do that is full LRs, whether you don't have all LRs or if your team cost is too low, two of the TURs that I'd recommend bringing in if you have them, the Tech Khalifa, which she is guaranteed to dodge if you have a Universe Survival Saga category enemy, which LR Free Coup is, so she definitely it mitigates some of that damage and is not a liability as far as putting an extra unit on there if you don't have an LR. And then also the Int UI Goku, if you do have him and you have him Extreme Z Awakened especially, you can bring him in in the slot if you don't have all LRs as well. He'll do a really good job uh, doing some attack and defense stacking. He'll do a little bit of dodge and deal some good damage because he is Int type. So, of course, not as much as an LR, but still good in the case of, you know, whether you need a different TUR on there that Goku's good to use. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the Goku and Frieza stats, the LR Freeku here. So we've got uh, leader skill. You can you can read the uh, prior to Extreme Z Awakened stats here. You can pause the screen if you want and take a look at that. But the leader skill remains the same for representatives of Universe 7 because 177% is still the highest percentage for a leader skill in the game. So that is, you know, makes sense that they kept that. But the tech type, key plus 3 HP attack and defense, goes up to 120% instead of 90%, so not too bad there. Super attack raises defense for one turn and lowers enemy attack. The ultra super attack raises defense and lowers attack and defense. The passive skill attack and defense plus 77% when attacking, an additional attack and 77 defense plus 77% when performing an ultra super attack, which is, you know, the same as before, but... The buff is they get an additional attack plus 77% when the target enemy is an attack down, defense down, stunned, or have their super attack sealed. So that could be, if you get all of those passive skill buffs to pop off, you could get up to a 231% attack buff, which is absolutely amazing. A good chunk of damage could be dealt there, so really cool. And then also you get key plus one at start of turn 
four, uh, up to seven each turn, so help you get those ultra super attacks off if uh, you know if need be. So the later on you get in the game, easier to help to kind of activate the passive skill and get full potential out of that. So anyway, let's go ahead and hop over to Dokkan Battle here, and you can see what units I'll be taking in. So I actually do like to bring in the leads for. Uh, the Vegeta, because he is LR Int type for Universe Survival Saga, so he helps out quite a bit. And the good thing is, is he does uh, Universe 7, uh, represented as a Universe 7 uh, leader skill, but also powerful comeback, which the Tech Jiren is on, which is good. So, again, if you don't have all of these units, you can swap them up, uh, you can bring different LRs, or you can also run the uh, LR Friku as the lead because they have that 177% buff uh, prior to Extreme Z Awakening, you just have to make sure you have all representatives of Universe 7 category allies on here. So, anyway, let's go ahead and take on Stage right, 10. Let's do this. Best of luck to you guys. If you haven't quite beat this yet, it can be a little challenging, but with a few tries and the right units, it should be good to go. So, we're actually going to put uh, Vegeta in that first slot to hopefully tank some of the damage that's going to be going on here because it's a, it's a lot of attacks there. And let's see if we can uh, let's do that there. <coughs> Excuse me. So there you go. You can see we're only getting uh, double and triple digit damage there. If he does launch a super attack on the Vegeta, which is where we're going to want it, if it does happen, because he will be the one to tank it the best out of all these guys. Okay, good, good. And if you haven't played these uh, legendary EZAs yet, they can one-shot you pretty much in one turn or just one attack. So there you go, 25,000 damage, not too bad, but other units could take, like, 500,000 damage if you're not careful, so definitely be careful with that. Alright, good, getting some dodge off there. Alright, so, go ahead and uh, see if we can get... See if we can get an ultra super attack off. No, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So, um, let's go ahead and save those orbs for the blue boys there. And not play an ultra super attack there either, but we should be still getting a good amount of damage off this turn. And as you get later on in the event, uh, some of the units, of course, will be getting their active skills and everything, but help out with some damage there as well. So. But pretty much with these events, as you can see, it's just going to be kind of a crawl to the finish line, if you will, just because the unit has such a high uh, amount of health and just they don't take that much damage, even from units that usually deal a giant chunk of damage. So, let's see what we got here. Get an additional attack. Very nice. So the only thing, I've got the uh, LR AGL UI Goku on this, we definitely want to make sure that he's dodging if possible, because if he does not dodge, he's going to take a giant chunk of damage just because he's type disadvantage. And you know what, we'll go ahead and we'll just keep him right there in the middle, uh, just in case, and we'll also give the strength UI Goku all of those orbs to get him a maxed out super attack there. Very nice, and we're getting the super attack on the Vegeta again, which is where we want it. You gotta make sure you're positioning your units in those spots where they're gonna be uh, most useful. And here we go, we're finally getting the ultra super attack off with the Vegeta, so hopefully we get some good damage here. Maybe we can get a crit. No crit, but still, he's getting the additional off, which is nice. So like I said, just an inch uh, and a crawl towards the finish line with the event. Is trying to whittle down that uh, health bar. And another addition. Very nice. Very nice. So yeah, I've seen a lot of people using LR Freaku as the main lead for the event, but the, the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta has just been very good up to this point, being a lot, uh, dealing a lot of damage and mitigating a lot of damage, and really being the reason why I feel like I get a lot of the stages completed. And there you go. So even the AGL UI Goku was able to get a crit and do a good chunk of damage there. Strength UI Goku, doing almost 2 million, not too bad, and of course getting the dodge off, very good. And nice, we get to go ahead and use an active skill with the Vegeta now. 
I'll hit you with an attack you won't be able to destroy! This is everything I've got! Awesome active skills. Obviously, the voiced active skills add a lot more to the game. I think they are amazing. And did some decent damage there. Let's go ahead and see... Uh, no, nope, we, uh, we'll go ahead and just keep him there. He's getting some extra linking with him. And uh, there we go. We got the Ultra Super Attack with Friku. I've almost got Friku rainbowed, actually. I'm only missing one copy. So I haven't done my 66 unit uh, ticket summon yet. But I will be doing that soon. Hopefully, I can get a unit that I can use and not just somebody that I already have uh, a rainbow up. Because you know that always is, uh, is a bummer when that happens. So Vegeta might be able to finish off the uh, event right here. Let's see how much he does with damage. Alright, there we go. Got the crit in. So you can see, um, I did kind of play around with some other team builds. And it is possible um, getting up to this point, but I really feel like this one is one of uh, my favorites just because those Vegetas, having both of them, having two of them on the team, they really just help out a lot. So you can see some other teams that people have been bringing in. Really nobody else is bringing in the uh, Vegeta as their main lead, but I still think that it is just one of the best options if you have him, of course. Not the only option, but um, yeah. Go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know if you've already beat this, what team you did that with, and uh, you know if you haven't beat it yet and you're still trying to get that going, let me know down in the comments below. Maybe I can help you out. And especially if you hop over to the Discord chat, we can help you with some uh, team builds over there. Again, a bunch of people over there always willing to help out. So anyway, hopefully you found some information in the video today that's going to help you out with the event if you haven't beat it. Otherwise, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, again, go ahead and drop a like and comment down below. Check out those links for the social media pages and the Discord chat. And make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on future content like this. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you coming by and checking out the video today, and we'll catch you on the next one. Signing out.